Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video. And today I'm here with a thrift haul slash rummage sale haul. And I'm really excited about some of my finds that I would like to share with you guys. And recently my husband and I went to go visit his cousin and his, and his cousin's wife. They rent a cabin that's, you know, probably about 45, 50 minutes away from us and they had invited us to come over for the day. And so the boys went fishing and um, the girls, we decided to go and thrift, so I was really excited. Um, I got to check out a couple of thrift stores that I have never been to, but they are within driving distance from where I'm at, at my, where I currently live. So I'm um, excited to check out a few new thrift stores. And the biggest find that I was really excited about is I found vintage laces. Some of them are vintage French laces. So our Parisian laces, which I'm really excited about. And you guys will never believe it. I paid a quarter each for each type of lace for most of them. So I'm really excited about it. And this first one I'm showing you does have some staining on it. But the staining that's on here came from because there was tape, like mass, like um, clear tape on it. And so all these little brown spots are from the tape, which is unfortunate. But as many of you guys know, we can tea dye or coffee dye these types of laces and they look great. Um, so this one looks like some sort of vintage insertion lace type lace where you can insert little ribbons in it. So an insertion lace, um, very delicate. This one I definitely will have to tea dye just because of the staining. I don't know if that will come out if I soak it or not. I'm kind of suspecting that it won't. Um, so I'll just end up tea dyeing those. But again, a quarter. I couldn't believe that. I was like, and this whole thrift store, like everything was cheap like that. And what was interesting about it is when you walked into this store right away, I thought, oh, this one's going to be expensive because it looked like you were walking into a little boutique, but it wasn't at all. I mean, everything was very reasonably priced because I actually bought some clothes and stuff too, but I'm not sharing that in my haul because this is a craft haul. So this one is a lace and it does say it was made in France. And so I'm suspecting it's the same as this lace because they look exactly the same. So I'm assuming that this one is made in France also. Um, you can see that right here that it says it's made in France. It looks vintage. It originally was 14 cents a yard. But And this one again is the insertion lace. Um, very delicate looking. There might be a small amount of brown spots just from where the tape was, but I think it's just at the two end pieces. So I think the rest of this one is pretty good. So I won't have to do any coffee dyeing or tea staining. I'll just have to snip off the little ends and I should be good on that one. Um, also, this one is gorgeous. This one says New York on it. And I'll show you guys what that one looks like here. Um, but another stunning vintage lace. And again, only a quarter. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. So here is another one. This one also has a couple of tape marks. But again, I think like this one, you can see where there's staining right at the end. I'll, I'll just snip that. And then hopefully I can just snip that little piece off. And the rest of it looks like it's it's fine. Um, just where those two little tape pieces of tape were, but that one also is gorgeous. This one says it was made in the USA on this one, and it was 29 cents originally per yard. And I, again, I only paid a quarter for the whole thing. And I think there's at least two, maybe three yards on that. Could be more. Another very delicate lace. This one says French Val lace. And then again, it says made in France the up there and also down there. This one also is a very delicate looking lace. I'll hold my finger under it so you can kind of see the patterning a little bit better. And there is staining on this one again, unfortunately, but I might be able to, depending upon the projects, just cut off the parts that are brown. And I believe again that that was where there was tape holding it down, which was unfortunate. And then this last one probably isn't quite as vintage as some, 
but uh, and there's two different types of lace so I don't even know if these were the original laces that were on here or not this one looks slightly older um, But that one looks, still looks like it's in pretty good condition. And I think that there's a, at least a yard or maybe a yard and a half of that one. Again, that one I paid a quarter for. And then there was some red also, some red lace on this one. But I, like I said, I couldn't believe how much I paid on all those. So there was one, two, three, four, five six six of those vintage laces that i got and they were a quarter each um they also had some grab bags of lace and i only chose to pick up this one they had a lot of like eyelet lace which i have a ton of that already in my stash so i left that for somebody else to purchase but i did pick this one up there was two types of battenberg lace in this one and it was 50 cents and I didn't think that was bad because, again, you got quite a bit and there's two different styles in here. So here was the first style. And it looked like very, you know, pretty good condition in that one. I don't see any staining on it. And then here was the second type of Battenberg lace that I got in that package for, again, only 50 cents. So crazy prices i will definitely be checking out that thrift store again i was like i said i was really excited about that one and then the only other craft thing i got from that thrift store was this bag of of, of beads or pearls and they were pink um and these are like perfect pearls for wrapping around christmas trees if you do a shabby chic um, christmas tree i do have one in my craft room that i leave up all year and one of them is missing pink beads so i think these are going to go on that tree and if i have enough left over i might use it on a christmas craft a chevy sheet christmas craft or something but that ba whole bag was a quarter which again great deal on that same day we visited another thrift store that i hadn't been to and i picked up a flower frog um, this one's a little bit different type style of flower frog and usually you stick like your stems of your flowers in them but again, I thought this would be fun for in my craft room since I have kind of a vintage flea market style craft room just to stick, um, whether I stick scissors or my tweezers or little markers or something in the little spots. That's how I'm going to use it just as a display piece in my craft room. But I thought that was, again, a great deal for 75 cents. These go for quite a bit more at the antique stores. Um, also, when... I was out thrifting that same day. I, one of the thrift stores we stopped by had rubber stamps and they were 50 cents for wood ones. And some of you guys that have maybe been around as long as I have rubber stamping, um, we used to buy like the PSX or Personal Stamp Exchange rubber stamps. This one was from 1999. It's a wonderful stamp company. They no longer create stamps. Um, they're retired. But if when I pick up um, or when I see stamps from that company and they're ones I don't have and if I like them I do pick them up because they stamp they stamp and they clean up nicely and so I did pick up the sentiment because I did not have that one a separate thrift store when I was out thrifting the other week um, for $1.99 this is like watercolor stamps so if you stamp them with some markers on the back side and you get them a little wet you can create the effect of watercolor and this stamp company is from art impressions so if you were to look them up online um, and then look up watercolor with them you'd be able to see um, different styles that they have with these stamps and how to actually stamp a card using that technique but it was brand new and so i did pick that one up so that i could maybe create that same look hopefully on a card down the road and then in that same um, thrift store for $2.99, I picked up and there was three die cuts on here. And these ones were purchased by one of our local craft stores in the area there. Um, and so there was three dies for $2.99 that I got. This one said peace. This one said believe. And this one is kind of like a little wreath ornament that I thought was really cute. And I thought those were a great deal for that price. Um, 
the pile from my mom that I wanted to share with you guys that she got. She filled like a big bag for five bucks and she took out what she want or what she wanted in the bag. But then she also filled it with other stuff that she thought I could use because she just threw in any of the random craft stuff that was there that I could use. It. Um, so there is some like random holiday ribbon. There was a lot of these little white ribbon roses that, you know, these ones are somewhat vintage. So one, two, three, four, five packages of those. She had these little cups, which I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them. So if anybody has any great ideas for these little craft cups, I'd love to hear it. She also gifted me at, from that rummage sale that she stopped at these little fine, they're kind of like um, iridescent string of beads and there's quite a bit on there. This whole box um, was full of different ribbons in different colors. I'm just gonna lift them up. I'm not gonna go through each one, but you guys can see pretty much every color under the rainbow is in there. So I am gonna have to go, go through these and see which ones I can use. And then some of them might head back to the thrift store um, if I have a lot of that color, because um, I only have so much room in my drawers for these. The next little pile also came from my mom and I'm not sure if I shared this or not. I had it sitting on my floor to share in a rummage sale haul video and then I had to pick it up because we had company and so I couldn't remember if I recorded that video or not and if I did, I'll delete this part of the video but if not, I wanted to show it with you guys. So she also had another rummage sale, I think for $2 or maybe $3. Um, again, it was like everything you could stuff in a bag and so she did pick up, this one had all this vintage rickrack in different colors. Again, pretty much any color you can think of under the sun is in here. There is some pink hiding in here somewhere, which is, I use the pink and the white are probably what I use the most. But there's blue and green and there's orange and red and brown and all, you know, cream colors in there. So lots of different colors. She also picked up these fun little stick pins at that same rummage sale. There were some fun little like butterfly and bird charms that she got. She paid a quarter for that one. And then here's like a vintage needle container. Um, there's just stick pins in there right now, but these used to hold like needles. So um, she thought that was fun for me to be able to set up somewhere in my craft room. And also in one of those, either it was this box or that other one I showed you, she threw these in too because it was anything that fit in the bag. Um, just some little wood boxes that I can repaint and reuse. At a rummage sale I stopped by, I did pick up these whole reinforcers for a quarter. And the guy also sold me this little placemat or um, it's a little bit longer than a placemat, just like a table runner. It's plastic and I love these for using on coffee dyeing. So he sold that to me also for next to nothing, a quarter or something like that. I found these cute little pillows at a thrift store for a quarter. I can alter these, make them into an ornament or hand them out to somebody at um, Valentine's Day. And then a larger size heart also for a quarter. And then at another thrift store I stopped by, their linens and material were half off. So this was eight yards and I got this for $6. And I, I thought this stuff is perfect, this synthetic material is perfect for creating flowers, those like singed flowers. And so I did pick that up. I don't didn't quite need eight yards of it, but I still thought for that price, half off, that was a good, great price and I didn't have any in this pink color. And then also this was half off and I don't know where the tag, the tag went on this one, but this also I picked up for the same reason, but this one had two bolts and they're taped together. I haven't Put, put them apart. But again, I thought these would be nice for making shabby chic flowers. So I picked up these two bolts too for, for not a lot because they were half off. So, so again, I wanted to thank everybody so much for watching my thrift store and rummage sale hauls today. Let me know what you guys think, what things you liked the best out of my haul, and um, especially what you thought about the 25 cent lace again that was probably my favorite find from this past week of thrifting and rubbish sailing so um 
Again, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.